that it's just a... be like double episode. Yeah, and just that it's the same night. We're still recording, oh. and then we're all wearing the know, same clothes. We all, we live here actually. Doing, we uh, don't do doing any work. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, there is a good chance that uh, multiple people here are just spending the night because it's been such a successful podcast so far. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot. Of, there's more. Fuck, I'm almost out of Jameson. Yeah, that's a problem. That's our fault. I mean, Sorry. it's usually my fault, but I guess I can break out the good shit. I would expect. What is less. that other bottle on the table? Is that Cabo? That is tequila, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> oh, no, Cabo's good shit. Cabo season. Yep, That's like I'm gonna do one of those midway through. Cab- Cabo, yeah. like if you're looking for a solid tequila and not break the bank yeah. entirely. That's a good start. Pause. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Jafar. We have to turn the Jafar sand. Are we sure it's not the Jake Gyllenhaal sand from that movie? What was that? Oh, Prince of Persia. Yeah, that one. That's... Nobody saw that. <laughs> play the game. He might but... is he, Did you play the original, uh, the original Prince oh, of Persia yeah, back in the day? Oh ago. yeah, that was the jam. And that shit was like legit too. Like oh, yeah. you could fucking kill people, and he would die on the spikes. <laughs> and I think yeah, it was over like... and over and over. Yeah, he it did was a, a hard lot of game, that. wasn't it? It was, it was legit. Like one of the first games where the animation like mattered. Like you had to take into account. Like if you jumped over like a chasm, like he would, you know like wind up and stuff and yep. you know most games you were just like hey just go to it but this one you had to kind of time it out and stuff let's keep talking about games i am super curious you have started playing the biker expansion of gta 5 that's out is oh it, yeah is it awesome and it's, should i just give you like 50 dollars right now so you can buy actually give them like a thousand dollars and be like organize my fun for a year. all right so <laughs> for, so for evan evan actually push? had yeah. I don't know the game fucking active retarded or whatever. Oh, there it goes saying that. I said, I said, oh, yeah, he had he had a ton of money, right? He, he had money just showed from. Yeah, it just kind of showed up. He had like twelve million dollars of in-game money just show up, and uh, so he he bought the whole like clubhouse and everything, and then all we had to do was make uh, like buy our bikes and everything. <clears throat> but it's it's pretty yeah, awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> And dude, the, Buying the best bikes gives Tristan also a boner. <laughs> Seriously, the best the best street bike, it looks like the Akira bike. Oh, that's amazing. Sorry. I'm I'm not even joking. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's the next one on my list. But I it's don't like, know what that means. It's like a million dollars. You don't know what the Akira? <laughs> I, no, I don't think I. I've seen Akira like I'm many your many nerd years card. ago. Yeah, no, I I'm not a nerd. I'm not as nerdy as you guys. Bullshit. No, I've so, seen Akira, but. I actually I don't, had that it was on like VHS. Many, many years ago. Just throwing it out there. That and Ghost in the Shell. I think those are the only like animals. Ghost in the Shell is good. Ghost seen. in the Shell is amazing. We're not talking about the whitewashed movie. Has that come out yet? No. No, but have I you seen? Actually the, know. Have you actually seen? They've released like five like quick like. Tristan's teaser pulling up the Akira bike no. for me, so I can. Know Visually, what it looks it's like. actually really cool looking. I'm I'm not. Is this, it gonna be just like Lucy or I'm not throw. Uh, I'm not Lucy. like kind of trivializing the whole whitewashing point. I get that, and and I appreciate that, but visually speaking, the clips looked really good. Show me the bike. There it is. Oh yeah, it looks pretty dope. Pretty yeah. badass. I'm into it. It probably won't be what I buy. I saw that there was like a uh, like a bobbered sport bike available on there, and that's I'm pretty into that. Like the tails chopped off and stuff like that. That that there's there were already like a good selection of sport bikes, <laughs> and some choppers. They 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 found one which is like my perfect bike, where it's like a cruiser bike with like the extended like chopper front, mm-hmm. but you don't have like the ape hanger bullshit. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah, I yeah. I hate that. You look like a fucking idiot on that shit. <laughs> I always wonder how like the blood doesn't drain out of your arms. There's right. no way that is comfortable at all, but I I can't even imagine riding like that for longer than 15 minutes. Yeah, no. It's, it's gotta be so idea. uncomfortable. Aren't vehicles and games just like? Don't you just like blow them up immediately though? Yeah. Like, because I mean, like in GTA, I I played a little bit of five, but not as much as I should have. Like. That's because yeah. you need to get an X bone. I have a PS4. I know, but like, yeah, don't you just like crash it and like it blows up and then you just get out of it? Like, yeah, if there's, they're you disposable, can buy right? Insurance on it, like mm-hmm. in the in garage. the multiplayer, you can buy insurance on it, and it, you, you know, it's not invincible, but like, it's like a totally wild concept. Later, it's pretty cool. Later, yeah. Let's have uh, a, interesting. We should have a moment of silence. Pour for one my, out for my Jameson. Just pour one out. You did. Just, it. 
<laughs> Finish him. I'm, I'm going to be called an asshole about the military again. You were called an um, asshole about the military before? Oh, you missed that. About the the shirts that I made. Which shirts? The Dixon Bombs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the Ellicott uh, <laughs> no, City ones. Oh, do we not have one of those displayed here Oh, for the, uh, for the Iwo Jima stuff? Yeah, the Iwo Jima. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured you would take some flack for that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. People are assholes. No, no, like, seriously, I remember seeing it and going, I... I mm, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of people were like, no, it's disrespectful. Yeah, fuck That's that. exactly and, what happened. And For I those kinda, of you that don't know, there was a terrible flood in Ellicott City, and Mike made some shirts. We went or designed some shirts. Episodes, oh, did yeah. you? Well, then I will not talk about it anymore. Yeah. They they didn't listen. Fuck That's that. all right. People tune in. And fuck. You're starting. right. All right. Go ahead, Adam. Nope. I'm done telling my story. No, fuck no, you, Tristan. I, nope. Nope. I, I'm going to sit here quietly. We'll wait. Three, two and a half months ago, there was a flood. <laughs> I was just starting it off like... No, all right, I'll wait. Whatever. I'm just waiting. Fuck you guys. We'll just watch the the line. Just no, I I what? I, was, I I'm waiting <laughs> for Adam to to tell the story. It's like I will Instantly not, back. sir, sir, sir. I have oh, by the my way, piece, the, sir. Said good day. <laughs> the, by the way, the Dixon bomb shirt is hanging up out back. Oh, look at that! You, I snuck it in. It? It's, kind, it's it's there. Okay. You know what? I should. All right, you guys continue the conversation on whatever way. I'll go grab one of the, uh, oh, the resurrect no conversation. shirts, and I'll hang oh, that up back idea. there too. You should. That's just a good so idea. people that's know. That's a good idea. Like, yeah, that's. There's you're nothing. Right, we haven't done that. If you don't. Know, but you I kind of feel like that's one of those situations where I'm like, I'm half in tune. Like I kind of get it. Yeah, but I don't necessarily think it's. I get why people would be offended, but, but they're the, but they're wrong. But at the that, same time, it's for a good cause. So. They're wrong. That and here's my thing: the people that are being offended are probably not the people that should be offended, right? Like, it just seems like one of those things that the... It's not like, people who are at Iwo Jima. Right. It's kind of one of those things where, like, the, the younger generation shirt. probably is just, like, tapping into whatever furor. I'm just holding close for the video. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh. I think I've heard that before. I think some young women <laughs> have... Uh, right in the press. Have... <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, I think that yeah, I think that the people that are complaining about it probably aren't the people that the anybody that like really respects kind of that type of thing probably doesn't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like they they have the 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 capacity to kind of separate and compartmentalize the two. The Marines are really touchy about that kind of stuff. Oh no, I no, I get it. My, certain and certain Marines. A cousin of mine's Certain. cousin of mine's a marine, and and but I don't think he would take any offense to it. I think it's a generational thing. Yeah. My uh, my brother yeah. my brother is a marine. Yeah. He, Your brother? He, yeah. I didn't know you had a brother. Yeah. Oh okay. well, he's technically my half brother, but. Okay. Learning things no about Mikey. <laughs> Boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that that should be no. <laughs> like that. I like to learn things about Mikey. Yeah, uh, you, you, I didn't you know that. that you just got learned. No <laughs> shit, my mind just. <laughs> so, I wanted to continue a conversation that we actually started on what will now be episode four, but we're allowed to do that. Quattro. Uh, so we started talking about a little bit about bar etiquette, and we walked down that road. I'm going to start with Adam, the only non-bartender in the room. All right. You go to the bar. Dicks out. Yes. You order six shots, two Roman Cokes, and three beers. Okay? Your total is... Jeez, that's like 100 bucks in Columbia, dude. Like, seriously. Okay. That's a lot. $65. That's, that's way sure. too much okay. math for me. Okay. Yeah. What's your tip? $12. Fuck. Okay. Caleb, what's your tip? Depends on what it is. I'd say, uh, right? There's a lot of factors that play into it, but it Six probably wouldn't be less. It straight Jameson. It wouldn't be less than 20 bucks in, oh, in the situation that you presented. On a $65 tab. Wouldn't be less than 20 bucks. Unless, All the, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Also, wait. Let, me, let me ask you. A, a total of 12 drinks. Unless let me ask you first. Really shitty service. Is it, is it a, is it, this is like over the course of a night or a, one time, I'm like, give me. Six car bombs, That's three Captain point. and Cokes, yeah. two Bud no, Lights, is, and a redheaded slut. No, is this over the course this of a is night? One trip to the bar. Okay, one trip to the bar. I'm tipping probably twenty dollars. Yeah, on that. It probably wouldn't be maybe less. fifteen. Unless the service was real shitty. 
Okay, so we're it's, talking it's one service. It's not going to be that twenty five dollars. So we're talking forty percent. No, like I said, I'll probably go fifteen on that. You said it was sixty, right? Okay, so fifteen on sixty five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I so... would still do twenty. All right, you'd go twenty go on sixty five. I, I think it, the service was shit. I think it would depend. That, I th- that's, I, you're yeah. in the right. You're in the right range. If it's if you're if you have the the six shots are single pours, then I think fifteen is probably where. Well, I'd it also shoot. depends on how busy the bar is. If there's no yeah. one there and I'm the only dude there, I'm not tipping probably as much. If there's like a million people there, I'm tipping more. Yeah, and also if ah. it's something like car bombs or something, if it's something that takes extra steps to make, mm-hmm. I'll tip more. Okay, but it also depends on six car bombs, ah. two rum and cokes, and four beers. If if six car bombs and six shots of Jameson cost the same, I would They're tip. See, I'm tipping like. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I would I, I would tip more for the car bombs. For every Capitals game, almost, I drink a car bomb and like some rum drinks. My bar tabs are probably like thirty-five to fifty dollars without tip every time, and I'm usually tipping. I, I almost always just tip twenty to twenty-five percent. Yeah. So if if. Uh... But so that's like that would I'm over tipping in a one, in a one order situation there's, so if you order those no over the course of an evening line. then i'd you only go... tip 20 percent. and and my experience in that area you're already over tipping those bartenders so you're you're fine okay it's interesting this has been my experience i've only I... been down there like maybe five times like rocket bar and stuff like yeah. that yeah <laughs> and we've had pretty mediocre oh yeah people. no it's it's never like great service but i mean car bombs are, and car bombs are expensive like 12 or 13 dollars there each Oh, and sure. so I get a car bomb and like two rum and cokes, you know, nine dollars each. But yeah, I don't know. What's I mean, what's the proper number? Because with food, it's like twenty percent probably, it, it unless it was moves. really terrible. It's like it's a, eighteen it's like to a twenty scale. It really is like for for reason for for basic kind of average service, I will always probably do eighteen to twenty percent. But here's my thing: I've worked in the industry. I know what people have to deal with. I know what. I know how they pay their bills. You know what I mean? Like, right. I mean, you're more sympathetic so, to it, but right. I mean, most so, people don't. Think exactly. About that. So I will always be a little bit more generous for mediocre service. It's always 18 to 20% for shit service. I'll dial it down to 15 to 10, depending upon how bad it is. Yeah. If same, same here. Even if it's like, if it's like just above mediocre or, you know, the, you'll give the, it 10% tip. I have before. Yeah. Not to. I've stiffed one person. Yeah, ever. I I can count on one hand how many people that I've stiffed or given like, you know, a, ch- a handful of change or something. Not that college students are listening to our show, but they should. Be. If you are they in a college bar where they've got like progressive rails or something like that, where you, for from nine to ten mm, they've got twenty five cent, w- like rail drinks. I would how never do you tip? Work at how do bar? you tip? In that situation, because I mean, I know Here's, when I was in college, I, I, I was just like, like, like man, it's four dollars for six rum and cokes. Here's ten dollars. This, this is the way I look at it. If it how do you do it? Should be a dollar drink when you're doing that. It's like super cheap. I, exactly. I agree that I think it should be about a dollar drink, but again, college students. Buck, so I don't, I, I don't think you have. Floor. But I don't think you have to do dollar a drink if it's regular price. But when you're getting a serious discount, yeah, I think you should do you a dollar yeah. drink. When so when the drink is less than a dollar, you should tip a dollar. So there yeah. should be, or at least if you if you're. I mean, getting, those were the glory days of drinking. I think if although you're, it was like if all, you're paying a dollar twenty five for a beer, you should tip a dollar. You you it. should at least give two dollars and leave the change. Yes, oh. absolutely. Bare minimum. Oh. Tristan says no. Tristan's like, <laughs> wow, that's. I can see my 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 children's college education going down the drain. No, I wanna, no, I was. I mean, I. I to me, a dollar a drink is is the floor. I want to open a store that's yeah. called. No, I'm just, I agree. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like, yeah. single drink. Yeah, I I think I if you're you a good person, funny, I guess you can do some funny math where like the higher the tab goes, the lower the percentage is. You know, if I order twenty drinks over that, the course of the evening, there shouldn't be that. There shouldn't be that. You know, I, that's one of the biggest things that you run into though is there's that inconsistency. What's that the best tip? People, Sorry, continue. Sorry. I was gonna say the, the people. We'll tip 20%, for example, on say, well, just for a sake of example, we'll say a $50 bill. They'll tip 20%. They'll give 10 bucks. But then if that bill climbs to 60, they'll give, you know, 18%. And then the higher it gets, the more it backs down. And 
I, I kind of understand I understand that from the consumer's perspective. They they run up this big bill. They don't kind of want to shell out as much money. But I think the average kind of consumer doesn't doesn't think about those types of things. If you're tipping 15%, for example, on a $60 bill, tip 15% on that $100 bill. Are we? One of the things that I always used to do is recording. It is. It's yeah, we're recording. Yeah. If if I used but to on have a video. Sorry. Yeah. If I used to have yeah, a party and it ran up a two hundred dollar tab, and they gave me thirty bucks, that's fifteen percent. And here's my thing: is I was always I would always try to extrapolate. It'd be like, okay, well, that's thirty bucks. Fifteen percent, though, if I knock that down to a hundred bucks, that's fifteen dollars. Always try to look at it look at it in terms of kind of like pluses and minuses. If someone gave me twenty percent on a hundred bucks, they gave me twenty bucks. I'd say, yeah, well. If they gave me, if I it was a hundred fifty bill, a hundred fifty dollar bill, I would have thirty, just to kind of. I I always tried to balance it out, like like I said with the initial question, how do you compare it to the amount of work that you, that you did? Sure. Because if give me twelve natty lights, that's like twelve bucks tip, like that's yeah. a dollar a beer. Hey, if yeah, if you give me like two bucks on that. Yeah, cool. I'm I'm cool. not too like two bucks some, on twelve natty lights. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, you, I'm saying like no, a dollar beer for, you gotta, yeah. for 12 Natty Lights. Yeah. I paid you a well, dollar to open them. If you're, if you're beer, ordering yeah. 12 Natty Lights and all I'm doing, that's one transaction. That's one trip to the right. register. Exactly. Uh, I, I'd be okay with five. Yeah. You know, like, because it's, you have to compare to the amount of work. Like, if I'm just cracking beers, I'm not stressed about the 20% or the right. dollar minimum or anything like that. But it's like... I, I try to be that person that evens out for the shitty people. So right, if yeah. I go out to the bar and I, I order some drinks and I try to tip a little on the heavier side, unless somebody's a total waste of fucking life, and you you end up having a lot of that in the busier spots. You well, of you course. Go down to Bars Ocean are City, terrible places. <laughs> yeah, you no, go to Ocean are. City. They're where degenerate people go. Like yeah, you are. go to Ocean City, you go to downtown Baltimore, they know they're going to get business no matter what. Right. So that you will run into some of the shittiest bartenders you will ever see. So on the converse, though, two questions. What is the best tip that you've ever received, for, not from a friend and the person you know? And also, this is for Tristan. I guess you can also answer the same question because you bartended. And also, what is the largest bar tab you have personally ever run up? Mm. Wow. That's a tough one. I don't know if it's the best, but I can recall a night that I got a hundred dollars on a two. I think it's like two hundred and fifty dollar. That's not bad. It's pretty party. solid. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that was necessarily the best, but no, I remember, it's like but it was it was sick. one of those moments where I remember look like everybody had left, so there was no one for me to be like, hey, I think this is a mistake in my head. I remember it was like being a waiting like, situation where you were like, hey, you forgot your hundred. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> You're very exactly. good at your craft. You exactly. More than I do. <laughs> oh, I <would> exactly. <laughs> so fucked up. But I remember, but I remember legitimately, and I think those are the moments that stand out for you, though. Like I remember looking like, at some, it and be like, this is a mistake. Yeah. And then thinking, and then for a minute, you always, I kind of think in those situations, I think there's always that little bit that maybe one percent of you that is like, this can't be right, and then can't get right. Can't, can't get, get right. right. Can't get right. <laughs> Is that a song? <laughs> we didn't even mention awesome. them last episode. I thought about it midway. I was like, no, fuck them. <laughs> but then I think Chumps, soft ass motherfuckers. I think Sorry, that you're, you're you're kind of you know, hey, I need to pay my bills. Instinct pops pops in, and you're like, hey, awesome, I did a great job with these people. They appreciated it. Oh yeah, of course. And that's kind of really what you chase. Uh, so. I, I, I will say that is a lot of the restaurant industry is like I try to tell people that are new to the industry, you can't get upset about the the bad tips. Yeah. Take your ego out of it. Yeah. You have to understand that sometimes people, for whatever reason, people, oh, people don't know how to shit. tip. They, yeah. they like to keep their money. I yeah. They don't, that. they either don't know or they're assholes. Like if, if you get upset over every time that you have a bad tip, you're going to be upset all the time. Well, you're in the wrong industry at that point. Yeah. yeah. I mean. But you, you have to, if, if you're going to do that, you have to get unreasonably excited every time you get a good tip. Right, right, right. And I've, people I've worked with over, over the years, I've had, to, I've had to say, like, dude, dial it back a bit. Like, yeah. you know, you're, you're going to make your money. We, we make money in this industry. Like, 
the the money's there. You just have to be. You don't even have to be good. I mean, just do the go, bare minimum. Going, <laughs> just do the bare going minimum. to downtown Baltimore. You can understand. You don't have to be a good bartender to make money. Oh no. They probably make more money than I do. Oh, absolutely. And because there's a million people that go to bars. Yeah, and they're fucking terrible. I'm not saying as a no, no, entire I, generalization. No, no, I mean, I don't. But there is a solid in Baltimore. You're shitty. You suck. You're horrible people. Everyone. Well, I disagree. I live there. I love you guys. If you keep serving me liquor. In, uh, yeah. in, the in the city of Baltimore is zip code considered the city of Baltimore. You should just probably kill yourself. Yeah. I but before you do that, you, you should uh, friends. I disagree. like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to this channel. <laughs> This podcast. Uh, because oh, fuck you. Available on we're iTunes gonna, we gotta start and the website for that soon. That's that's gonna be really. We gotta really start doing that, I guess. Yeah, huh? Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, my god. Sure, we at that do. point in our lives. I'm glad, I'm glad. It, I'm glad when we were in Godcast, we didn't need to do that. It's a really. Day. Yeah. Was, different day. Follow me on Twitter. What was the second part of this question? Oh, what what, what is the the highest bar tab you've ever ever paid ever paid or ever like oh, racked up? Man, I want to say that we wait ha- personally or somebody per- that we've served. No, no, no. Personally, what is like the most you've ever spent at a bar? Oh, that we've ever spent at a bar. Oh, yeah, okay. like that you've like because I've racked oh, up some shit. silly bar tabs. Unfortunately, I want to say I, I was at a bachelor party in uh, Atlantic City where I think we ran up like a, I want to say it was like a twelve hundred dollar bar. Oh tab. my! But that's a, that's a whole crew yeah, though. Yeah, that was a whole crew. They were like probably. 10, 10 or 12 of us, so 100 bucks a person. All right. You know, at, at a bachelor party, I don't So I know, that. I know, so uh, Phoenix, which uh, should be opening back up soon on Main Street in oh, yeah. Ellicott City. No, November, I, I think, is what they're, is what yeah. they're shooting for. We're looking, first. we're going to look in roughly, roughly a month. But I know on Sundays, they do their industry night. Hmm. And I went there with a bunch of friends, and I probably racked up... <sighs> I don't know, a hundred dollar tab on my own. Yeah, that All works. Right. All right. I'm gonna die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. Don't give me that. Yeah. So <laughs> this is gonna this one's gonna So be I I probably long. racked up you know, what was the equivalent of a two hundred dollar bar tab, but it's half off. Uh, so, oh it's free then. Yeah. You're good. Well, that was unfortunately drunk me's mentality. <laughs> You're not, right? Because I was like, oh, I got half off. I should at least pay the original bill. So I well, saved yeah. nothing. Oh, well, yeah. No, I spent no that, that's the other thing that I always do. So a lot that's of times I'll go yeah. to a bar where I know the bartender or like I know the dude's hook, or dude yep. or chick is hooking me up. And I always tip on the original amount. Like, yep. I'll order like Absolutely. twelve you should, drinks, you should and I'll know the original that this amount. Should, I'll know that this bill should have been like a hundred and fifty bucks. So I'll tip, you know, thirty bucks. Yes. On like whatever they charge me, you know, they'll give me this check so, for twelve dollars, so and that's clearly one I drank a hundred dollars of liquor, and yeah. I tip on. Th- that's one thing. If your friend's hooking you up, you got to tip on the original amount. I feel. Oh, absolutely. You, what about that? I mean, that is really one thing. Should. That's that's what I should have done. <laughs> what I did was, Mike so it, yeah, it was supposed <laughs> to be a two hundred dollar bill, but it was a hundred dollar bill. Like he's like, right. I so I, <laughs> I paid two hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. And, so yeah. I gave them a hundred dollars. Yeah, no, yeah. That's, no, I get that's it. My, yeah. yeah, no, that's, that's what I would have done. Policy. I would have done that. My general policy is, if I'm getting hooked up, I'll pay the My the hookup bill. is, I don't have to tip you. I will pay for whatever my drink should have cost, but I won't add anything on top of that. That's you, that's you probably also... why everyone at Diamondback loved game night because everyone I know had that mentality. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, and yeah, we, yeah that's because that's what you do. Everyone yeah. came. <laughs> all all gen- my bartenders nice would person. come to me and say like, "Oh man, your your guys, they know how to tip." Like, I was, <laughs> It's like yeah, like Sean, Tristan, Caleb, everybody. We've I was all like, kind of worked in the industry at some yeah, point, right? I mean, pretty like, much oh all my. of us have been in the industry. All right. And you play that game. That's how I spent my twenties. I'm gonna knock this out. I am not gonna do that. Yes, you no. are. No. No. <laughs> Kila, no! I'm gonna throw up on the air. You guys wanna see this? Oh, uh, we got it on Cheers. video. Cheers. To, uh, I think, because I can't quite to, tell. Uh, no, I really, I don't want it. To you Cheers. writing that novel. Yep. Uh, that's what I'm to toasting November. to. To you writing that novel to November. Dicks out for Harambe. Out. Ah, that too. Ooh. 
Ooh, Cabo's some good shit. Mm. Oh, that's harsher than I remember it. No. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No more of that. Thanks, guys. No more. I, th- I thought it was good. Mm. Uh, here's four, four dudes I, in a dark I, room I, struggling not to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> take, um, take a moment. Reset. Interesting. So you got to answer these questions, too. What's the best tip and... I thought there'd be some higher. I thought there'd be some the more best outrageous tip I bar tabs. Got was a two hundred dollar tip on a seventeen dollar tab. Holy shit! Did what? you suck that guy's dick? <laughs> it was uh, a couple who used to come into the restaurant where I worked, and they always tipped very well. But they every knew it was year your last in day. December, oh, that's no, tight. every year in December, oh, Christmas tip. They did a Christmas oh. bonus for their favorite bartenders. Wonderful. Um, that's cool as shit. A lot, of, really lot cool of, lot of guests. I had that too, and they gave $20. Great. Yeah, I mean, I devastated the, uh, um, what is it called? The uh, Comp tab. The, no, we didn't have a comp tab. I just destroyed the liquor costs for the restaurant for them <laughs> for most of the rest of the year. Like, um, you know, because they'd order uh, a Jameson up, and they'd get, you know, a tumbler full yeah. of Jameson. Here's this pint <laughs> glass yeah. of Jameson. Uh, I, I had a couple. I ask, like this couple. <laughs> I had a couple who were who uh, came in for lunch one day on a Friday because I used to always work Friday lunches, and you know just because you're talking to them and stuff, I was you know you, you you're talking like where are you guys going, what are you doing for the weekend, etc. And it was pretty empty bar, so there wasn't much going on. Um, and it was funny because I remember being totally like just taken aback by this. Um, they were going on a cruise. They're like, yeah, we're going on a cruise. We're going to go here and there, whatever. The cruise is going to dock in, I don't know, St. Lucia or wherever. Space docking. <laughs> I don't know yeah, why. space docking. I'm, get, I'm actually getting space this. Space docking. So, not, so, you know, Again. <laughs> so they get their drinks and, and they get their lunch and we're having a good time. We're just kind of casual conversation. And then at some point, and it, it wasn't the woman who looked excited. It was the man who looked excited. But the woman looks at me and goes, hey, do you want to come with us? And I was like, Oh. Shit, man, like fuck yeah. But the guy was like, "Oh yeah, dude." And I was like, "No." Oddly enough, we have a great transition to this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold wait, on no. a second. <laughs> Hold that. Can, wait, no. Let him finish. Uh, but... Okay. No, no, right. no, no. I was just uh, that was that was probably one of the most bizarre situations I'd been in at, at the bar. Like actually, they were they they, they wanted to have a threesome with you. Yeah, they were sincere. But here's my thing. I was just I was curious about the roles that were going to you know, but I got the feeling that it was What an adventure. Yeah. That's the question. <laughs> what an adventure so you should was have done going it. to fuck All right, old man. <laughs> right. The choice is <laughs> yours. <laughs> and that is why I said, well, that is the main reason I said there. There are a multitude of other reasons why. Because I said like no. you could end up in like a situation where like he sits in a dark corner while you fuck his wife. He's just jerking probably it, super right? cool. Yeah, you know. You could end the up in a situation where you, it's you and him that's and all her. That happens. And, like, <laughs> and everything you know, in between that, And Mike, that's, right? you know, kind of cool. But then there's the moment where, like, you feel a hand on your butt. Like, you're looking at both of hers. <laughs> like, and you're like, <laughs> like, wait a minute. Oh, man, I've made a mistake. You're out in the middle of the ocean. And but there's the implication. But right. let's not discount waking up in a bathtub full of ice with my kidney missing. I think you would have been all right in this situation. <laughs> Got another one. You got to you got to gamble every I'm once just throwing in a while. it out there. Right? All right, so hold on. That that reminded me. Do you remember? He keeps pointing at me like I'm gonna tell him. Yeah. That this time, time, man, time, you touched my butt. To we double team that chick, and my balls touched yours. Dude, that would right. be a great story. So, true. oh man, we were we were down in Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I think right. I have heard and this we story. And we went actually. to the Purple Moose. To yep. see a friend's band play. And then while we were there, we were both propositioned because we both have hot wives. That's true. They <laughs> Separately and without each other's knowledge. Dude, you guys we were propositioned. Sorry. <laughs> did you like, did, were you like, did you immediately tell the other person like, dude, this well, guy just no, came up to me and wanted to fuck Hold on, us. hold on real quick. That's <laughs> or like, did, like, what? No, 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 no. Listen, 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 to this. listen to this. So, we met outside after, like, hanging out inside at uh, Purple Moose for a while. And we were like, man, it was so weird. Like, we had this this couple approach us, and we think they were swingers, and they were trying to, like, hook up with us or whatever. Little did we know, these were two separate groups of swingers 
We were each propositioned by different swinger couples at Purple Moose in Ocean City. Wow. Oh, really? I yeah. Thought, I, wow. I thought it was the same couple. No, it was. It they were separate. Groups. You remember this situation much clearer. Tristan than I do. was more I, drunk. I. You know what? I didn't think I was that drunk at the time, but uh, Mike remembers this I was much gonna, clearer. Yeah, I was going to say Tristan. I have had a lot of experience this with situation, this. and he does not. <laughs> yeah, no. Tristan had more of a problem deciding what to do. <laughs> it wasn't as clean cut. I mean, it yeah, was a so... really. So I remember <laughs> being in the bar, and it was, and it was kind of weird. We were there to see an acquaintance's band or a friend's band. I feel like this is an yeah, alien abduction a, it, type White House thing. effect. It was fairly early. It wasn't early, early, but it was like <laughs> nine or ten. The place wasn't packed, right? Yeah. Um, then the dildos came out. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't ass to ass. The next thing I know, I opened my eyes. I was sitting on a Sibian. No and, kidneys. Uh, a Sibian uh, with no <laughs> kidneys. The room was covered in lube and empty beer cans. And it's like we were driving down the road. There was a blinding flashlight. And aliens <laughs> took us and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a weird Except for what aliens, happened. it was swingers. <laughs> it was yeah. swingers. It was like a 56-year-old Who guy. Ocean with City was such a fucking gold shade and a hairy chest. Yes. <laughs> Who knew Ocean City was a hotbed sure. for swingers? Like, That's amazing. I think, I think yeah, was Purple it like Moose. Swingers Weekend? I think it's like Purple. Bike Week. It might be bike week. Swingers Week. Seriously. Goes on there. Next time you're Maybe at... Purple Purple Moose sounds like yeah. a, ban- uh, a bar that would it be... It sounds like, like a gay bar. So it sounds like a bar that would be into swingers. It was an all right bar, and the band that was there was good. And we yeah. we were there, and, and there was, I don't know, uh, not a dozen of us, eight or ten of us kind of as a semi group that were there and uh, the couple walked in and the the girl was I never saw I never saw you your see, couple You didn't see him. I'm just talking about our experience. The girl was young enough and attractive enough to be noticed. To give you pause. <laughs> I want to say uh, early 20s probably um, Sounds hot. What? <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Like, Adam's like, about to like, hop on. Yep, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> Clearly, they approach Tristan and they're like, "Hey, do you want to do this?" And he had to think for a second. Like, well, this was like, uh, you, you know, who is it? it? Is it John Nash from A Beautiful Mind? Yeah. Who has the theory about like, you know, yeah, the if you girl, surround a, if you surround a kind of ugly girl with hot girls, she looks hotter. I think that was like 21 though, not. I don't think that was John Nash. That seems like was it? It really? was in 21. No, was it Kevin you know Nash? No, 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 no. John, and they power no, no, no. John Nash flaming like, tables. Was no, no, I, I know what you're talking about. Ultimately, and that doesn't seem That's like him. something no, that would John work Nash out. No, John Nash was the. Uh, um, some of us have to fall on grenades so that all of us can be successful. And that that's translates right. into yeah. some of us have to take a hit for the no, team. No, no, that's, right? like, that's, that's a different – um, I think you were watching movie. Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah. Hand grenade. Cabs here. That's a Cabs are here. That's, that's, a different, that's a different movie where where the guy's like – he has a theory about – Jager bombs. Like, oh, look at that. Look at Jager that girl. bombs. She's way hotter. Fucking skanks. Yeah. <laughs> I, find, I just find it really hard to believe that the movie about John Nash is this guy, this brilliant mathematician, who ultimately ends up being a schizophrenic. And you're like, and and he's ultimately it's a, it's a, somewhere in between. He was like, hey, you know, sometimes you gotta take one for the team. That's exactly. You know? It's like, like it's a third of the way into the movie. It's yeah, how no, he comes up with his. And strategy. He's like, you're right. Fuck weird shit. He eventually, he eventually, Thanks, Othello. He eventually, he eventually makes his way to like. Uh, like international relations, but that's his whole theory. He's like, there's him and four of his guy friends, and if all of them compete over the one hot girl, nobody gets laid. If some of us go after the less attractive girls, and some of us go after the hot girl, hey, shout we out. all get laid and we all win. That's that's in a beautiful Real line. Quick. I didn't make that up. Real quick, shout out that. to bitch ass Sean, because that motherfucker has. Shout out to bitch ass Sean. Sean. That fucker has the the most brilliant shotgun mentality to hitting on women. Just hit on all of them, and you'll hit. It makes me uncomfortable. I've been a bartender for over a decade. Like, (laughs) wait, Sean Ross? No. No. No, bitch ass, bitch ass, Sean. Sean Haskins. Uh, Not sure. So, but whatever. He (laughs) he will hit on every girl. Every girl. Sorry to any of the women that have been hit on by him. You're a skank. You're disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. Whoa. All right. Skanks. You're disgusting. Fucking skanks. 
You've Yang never Yang bombs. Yourself. Yang Yang bombs. Not now, Chief. I'm in the fucking zone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mom, muscle where's milk? my muscle milk? Muscle milk! <laughs> With the fucking protein, ma. I feel yep. like that's like this four years decade, old. But this is like a decade. Yeah, this is really old. Dated reference. Who cares? <laughs> 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 Whatever. No, but seriously, he like to to a fault. Like he will hit on every every woman that comes up. He's like, Yo, what's up, girl? You hey. trying to get some of this? And it's like at least ten percent are just gonna be like, Yeah, okay, and like. Dude, and he's I, cool. I, and it's, it's I've depressing said since I was a teenager. And empowering. How glorious <laughs> in the would same your life, way. How glorious would your life be if you didn't really care how hot she was? Dude, I I had a I, a guy in, I, I, that I knew in high school. Far better. Amazing. A guy that I knew in high school and into the freshman and sophomore year of college did did basically the same thing. We would be at a party. This kid's name was Matt Matta. Sorry, Matt, if you're out there. I'm not sorry. Fuck you. Whatever. Um, fuck Matt. That, he, that that turned 180. Yeah, he was, that sucks. Hashtag, fuck Matt. No, Matt but he was, sorry. Just he kidding. Would, fuck you. We would be at a party and he would walk in and he would literally go up to and I've heard him say this to women before. He would walk up to women and be like, "Are you gonna fuck me tonight or what?" Okay. And they in would college, be like, you can get away with that. I feel like in real life. Yes, but here's college the thing: isn't real you life. can't just like, get away just with that. In the office, yeah. it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> Every wanna I'm gonna go talk to that girl in HR. Every <laughs> yeah. woman, every every idea. every chick in the party, he would he would he, would, he would he would slay. He would probably and get at least two of them. At least one, we'll say. Well, we'll, well yeah, not we'll, two at the we'll same cut time. We'll ten percent back to five percent. Yeah. One but here's every my thing. couple of parties. Yeah, you know, but here's my thing. Good. We're talking two percent. It worked, and I remember talking to him, and being like, "Dude, that's kind of rude. What are you doing?" But he was like, "Look, I'm not an attractive guy." I'm here to f- I'm at these parties to fuck. Whatever. I'm here to fuck. <laughs> My name is Buck. I'm here to fuck. But he would be like, I literally have like, like why not? Why not just go up and be like, hey, are, do you think we'll fuck tonight? And if they say no, hey, whatever. I'm I'm cool. cool. Whatever. Good. Good for you. Part- <laughs> it's kind of liberating, right? Like it's a gene. It's a gene I don't have. Yeah. I do not right? have that instinct in my brain. I just like. It makes me like you. It makes me uncomfortable to it does. watch those exchanges. It, it was very yeah. It so, was very uncomfortable. To bring it back around, so this girl comes in, moderately attractive, elevated to being quite attractive, just being surrounded by no other super hot no girls other talent, in the bar. Right. Right. With her older the talent ratio. Significantly older. Right. And husband, you're like you're like I could slay this chick. Forties, fifties. And I remember everybody looking at them, and then everybody leaning over and being like, "What's the deal there?" Yeah, like, right, he, right. No, he, we knew he wasn't rich because he looked shitty. He looked homeless. He yeah, <laughs> like his was hair kind of sucked. Was it the white couple, the one where the the like trashy blonde chick? That yeah, was short, somewhere. and he was a little taller than her. He's yeah. got like an open shirt down to like his belly button with like a gold <laughs> chain. Oh, like, was his shirt and, shiny? That's, and everybody, that's what and most of those looking, guys wear. Everybody's where. like, what's the deal? Like, is he rich? No, he's not rich. Uh, does he Maybe have a Maybe he just dresses like cock? a bum. No. Does she have How can you determine Stylish cock size bum. based upon looking at him? Like, nah, that guy's We're got a tiny to, cock. I don't why know. Why young, don't you tell us how that works? I don't know. to figure out why this young attractive looking blonde is with this older trashy looking dude right so money. you know money cock you know maybe he's got a huge dick maybe um you know what? Uh, maybe he's just maybe a really she's nice got guy. daddy issues maybe he's you know just a maybe nice that's guy. it and so we're all looking at them and we're all like what's the deal like what's going on there and that's maybe like a half hour later the two of them approach susan and i like hey how you guys doing you know what's going on let's and then, swing i forget how they propositioned us it was like hey do you guys maybe want to do you like i don't remember I was pizza do you, do you guys like should have done it sausage so... on your pizza <laughs> yeah yeah Seriously, Why would that have been? that's what i wanted is an no, old but... creepy guy fucking my wife that sounds amazing <laughs> that's you could fuck some other chick real quick she, real quick was, she was moderately attractive up close that's that's, that's the thing <laughs> up close I that's the that. thing that we're missing here though is that we had the same thing happen but a separate couple yeah and then, like I said, that bar must just have some vibe to it's it. It's got to be something. There's got to be something but there. Yeah. I swear to you God, and I this were is talking like alien about abductions. It. You and I were talking about it, 
And it, it took a good five or six minutes before we were like, holy shit, we're talking about oh, different that's couples. that's right. That's right. That's what's fucking we weird about it. thought it was the same couple, but it wasn't. It was you know, a different you couple. You automatically right? assume, holy shit, we got approached by a swinger couple. You're like, and they're just shotgunning. They're just oh, approaching a, every couple they yeah, see. Yeah, yeah same, you're like, okay, it's the works, same yeah. couple. No, there were two different swinger couples. That approached two yeah, different. Maybe there was like a convention or something. Not loony couples. A Sibian yeah. yeah, convention. Ocean it's called City, Ocean Maryland. City. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. It's Ocean City. My wife Fabulous. goes there like from time to time, like with her mom, like just to you know have a weekend at the beach. And I'm like, God damn it! Like it's a weird place. I haven't it been is... there in forever. All, a lot, Same here. I know a lot of people that go there every it's... like Memorial Day, Labor Day. Like that's a big thing. They go to Ocean City. Yeah. And, like, I'm gonna rip date their faces myself off. here. It's probably been 20 years. It's fun in the right what? context. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, we had a I know. Great time I, no, I, was, I fucking hate it. It was like I'm not even we went. Lie. We did a boardwalk bar crawl. We started at one end. We we had a drink at every bar we came across for thirty blocks. That's a lot of bars. Can, can I talk uh, about it real quick? Then you died. What do you, what do you consider a bar crawl? Going to more than four bars. Okay, and what's required at each bar? At least. One shot. Really? Yeah, I would say a shot in a beer. I would uh, say a shot in a beer. I would say at least a shot to be included on the crawl. But yeah, usually like a drink and then a shot. Yeah. Or at least or right, let's say okay. let's say even just a drink. And then and then let's say you're only you're only at the level where you're saying a drink. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. All right. I don't want to be friends with those people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now what is what is your animals. ultimate goal? You do that drink, and then what? And it depends on whether the bar is cool. If like we're having fun, we'll hang out and have more drinks. But usually, it's like one drink at a bar, and then you can go on to the next one. Exactly. That's what a crawl is. I kind of feel like so one of the keep worst moving. bar crawls I've ever been on. We started in Ocean City. We started at Frog Bar. Okay. Which is at the very beginning of the board. Are you boardwalk. talking about the same bar crawl I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, Tristan no. died that day. He doesn't that remember. He blacked out. No, doing that. Not That's because he did seven okay. shots at one bar, apparently. No, he blacked at out. This, at this bar crawl, we started night. there, <laughs> and then it was like we went to Frog Bar and like two other bars, and it was like everyone had a beer at each one. Oh, so you made it to like the first street. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we may have. 40th Street. We might have made it to. Uh, purple moose, barely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like right at the beginning. Like crawl okay. means like there's oh, movement did. going That's on. That's right. Because by the time we made it to purple moose, I was furious because I was like, this is not a fucking bar crawl. I was so I was so sad. If you can make I it to that, four I thought bars. the day that I had a great time was the day Mikey was on yeah. the worst bar Mikey crawl was like, of his this life. This is terrible, <laughs> and particularly my friends oh, Tristan. Man. <laughs> That guy is such a dick face. What a dick face. <laughs> no, Grab uh, him right by the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. No, I, I feel like you got to go to at least like at least five bars. That's a, that's a bar crawl. We may have made it to but four. There, there should be like a last bar where you just get wild at the uh, end. That's fine you if like, you stop and get wild, but it's like I don't understand how people can be – and it, people can be vibing at a certain place and be like, oh, this fucking band is playing 90s acoustic know. covers. Guess, this is great. I guess because... <laughs> you know, I, like, I, people are having fun. I don't want to leave right now. Like, I get that. I guess because I've been in be industry for it. so long. Yeah. But I feel like the bar crawl I, theme like, has got to be free. If you've had... If, you, if you're going on a bar crawl and you're like, holy shit, I've had four Miller Lights. Well, no, then I'm you should so kill wasted. yourself. You're not on a bar crawl. You're True. on a sadness tour. <laughs> How did we get waylaid? The bar crawl we went at, we went on in Ocean City. Now, when I say bar crawl, I don't mean it was like 20 people. It was like six of us. Like, yeah, it doesn't need to be a ton of people um, to be a bar crawl. How do we get waylaid at that weird pirate bar with the wheel where you're just like, oh, they got oh, a fucking wheel. Let's um, just do it. Because that that's fun as shit. Roofies it would be my. <laughs> uh, effectively. <laughs> Ex- ecstasy. No, no, no. He's, he's not exactly That's incorrect. why the swingers. The I swingers mean, were the in town. Ever. They were giving out ecstasy. No. So, so <laughs> this was the, the first experience I had with a uh, a drink wheel. MDMA. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. 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 Which I'm I've heard it. unlocks the secrets of the universe. That's one of the prizes on the wheel. It's like, MDMA. Molly. <laughs> no, you, so you spin the wheel and the options like, about half of them are uh, specials that make some sort of sense. And about half of them, it's just like, 
you can have four dollar four horsemen's. <laughs> oh and Jesus. My wife spun the wheel. Got a four dollar four horseman, ordered him from everyone. Yep. That's why Tristan blacked out. <laughs> and we were That's all super upset because but the thing but is makes you none of us are how fucking you bitches. Out, like yeah, we all gonna we all round, took round that out. shit. Yeah. We all were like Fine. Bam. Gotta do it. Yeah. So that may have been the worst shot I've ever taken. Four that, horsemen yeah. is awful. I've only because, done one. Like I said, the busy spots. It was a double too, right? You, it, you had to two. So wait. Go, well, it was a do double because that dude had no idea what he was doing. Yeah. Oh, but they God. put it in one shot glass. Yeah. It was in like a small. Yeah. Like it was like a little eight ounce plastic dude. cup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you poured a double. Yeah. You guys were joking about how I drink Jameson. No, it was like. Like halfway in a rocks. Like, the way we used to do it was a shot of each of all four. Disgusting. This is uh, again, I'm dating myself. When when it, it used to be no, four horses, you get a shot of each. This was probably a half. Oh of no, each. We, and that was garbage. It's always been like, but still, split. that that's it was still a full, garbage. It was a full two gulper because I remember trying to take it. And I'm like, the only way I'm gonna finish if I just do this now. And it was like, well, and then oh, have to go. Hope I don't vomit. Like. <sighs> Yeah, it was. That was no, probably the worst terrible. shot I've ever taken. I've, I have is. a pretty high tolerance for alcohol, and that was still like, you had to take that that second after taking the shot, and you're like, wow, how did it come to this? <laughs> <laughs> what decisions have I made in life to a, get to this? And then point? Christina was like, I need to go. Yeah, <laughs> and then she yeah. Like ran away, well, and she, the two other girls like followed her. <laughs> like, well, she was also like. As soon as it landed on that, she's like, I am so sorry. <laughs> I would have been like, birthday. no. It was her birthday. She'd been drinking a lot to begin with. I'm like... embarrassed. I'm drunk. Some swingers tried to pick us up, and we did the four different horsemen. Nights, we, we, got a bolt. we got a bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, swingers was night one. Bar crawl was night God, two. I wish I'd been there. I would have been, like been in my fucking element. I would have been in my element. It was a, it was a bender like... of a weekend. It was, well, I remember I love we bender weekends. drank our balls off. And played Cards Against Humanity until four o'clock in the morning, and I was like, everybody here is gonna be hungover, That's more sad. hungover than the they've ever been in their whole is, lives the next day. I was like in the lead, and then blacked out, <laughs> <laughs> and it <laughs> ended up losing. I think Christina won. The and best Mir- best card in that game is Pac-Man guzzling a bucket full of cum. I'm just that's, no, that's it's funny. racism. No, <laughs> <laughs> see. I've 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 become a little jaded about that game. Yeah. Because the problem is, yeah. is you have to play there with new maybe, people. There are winner cards in that game. Oh, absolutely. Pac Man guzzling a bucket full of cum. Winner. That wins winner. whatever round winner. you're yeah. in, right? It's like a, no that's matter the creative. context. No mm-hmm. matter the context, you can always lay it down. You're gonna win the round. That's bullshit. Oh. It sounds terrible, but Pac Man guzzling you, a bucket no. full of cum. No, it's pretty it, funny. No, no, no. Yeah. But when he runs out of options, I maybe just like he to likes. Think that he's like. Mm, I'm, 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 maybe I'm, he I'm, likes I'm, cum. Don't judge. I don't judge, but um, we played it with a friend of ours' uh, parents a couple years ago, and uh, her mother cleaned up. My job ever. Here, what? So I'm and it was it. amazing. The stuff that she came <laughs> up with was so vulgar. <laughs> was so vulgar. I'm sorry, Caleb. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> How do you feel about Pac-Man guzzling bucks to come again? He feels good about it. He feels strong. <laughs> I mean, those, those personally, dots, I'm not here to judge. The dots on the board were white, right? If so. My work asks. That's gross. I <laughs> 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 like Look at it. <laughs> Very seriously. So nice. <laughs> 40th. So what's next? I'm just imagining the day where they're like, they call me into HR and they're like, tell us about your podcast. And I just stand up and You're walk just like, out nope. of the room. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you, you, you reach out, out and you're like, it's been a pleasure yeah. working for you. No, you shake. What, what do you mail me my last check? Or yeah. like, do you just take that from me and stop mine? <laughs> and then you grab them all in the pussy. I get either way. Grab them all in the pussy. Pleasure, pleasure. Pleasure working with you. Pleasure okay. working with you. Well, sorry, my bad. We'll see you guys. Donald it was funny because you, you guys were talking about like the old dude with like the shirt buttoned down, you know, mm-hmm. the, whatever. We That's were. That's what in, I aspire to be. We we were actually <laughs> dare to dream, people. Yeah, yeah. Like a don't silver, give up on your dreams, like a kids. Silver shimmery button down. We Not were in a sh- we were in Pure Wine, Ellicott City, by the way. Go there, fantastic little place. Uh, last week actually, and uh, this guy comes in and he looked like the aging rock star. White hair, perfect veneers. 
you know, slightly aging, slightly tan. I was going to say, how is the tan? Yeah, slightly <laughs> tan. A couple buttons undone, and he had a woman with him who wasn't like a who wasn't like supermodel, like hot or anything. But my wife and I were instantly like, okay, daughter, uh, prostitute, or whatever i'm not gonna oh, judge that's okay. always a stupid fun, that's always We're, a fun a game fun you game just wait yeah. you watch you're like mm, yeah who is that to him yeah until they tongue kiss them. exactly like, oh. <laughs> prost so yeah at some point they were lo- the <laughs> at some point they were like nah, 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 and we were like oh, okay we know this is going <laughs> yeah there's a certain kind of like weird public making out where you're like that's not a hooker that's like just they're like, a weird they're couple. damaged no, that's, they're damaged that's when it comes down that's a full-time hooker oh like a gmb well, kind of thing you're yes. in for the long t- you're so, for yeah. the long haul it, you're like i'm looking for that sugar daddy so that's what i that, have no the, shame that other level comes in is this actually like a gold digger because this guy clearly looks like i'm legit like he's probably there's something going on there is he a, is she a gold digger is this like genuine and then you see them swap and spit again, and it's like, huh. I don't like the term gold digger. I like, uh, like an entrepreneur. <laughs> That's good. Okay. She's entrepreneur. willing to trade usage of her vagina for his money. Amongst other things. Who am I to judge? She is exchanging money for goods and or services Service. it's pretty much exactly. on, entrepreneurial she's a goddamn capitalist i like that stop giving her, stop giving her shit kanye thanks obama America. does she actually get like Land. like uh support from venture capitalists like how does this work like i want to i want to I want a fucking I'd, aging I'd, rock I'd, star. I'd, I'd like, financially back a, a, a hot enough girl. What would be your return like, on yeah, investment? Yeah, I bet you could fuck that billionaire. Totally. What would be your ROI? Like, how does I, want, I want 10% of your returns. 10? That seems like low, dude. Like, you know, I'll buy at dinner, what, I'll at what dinner, point I'll you, buy dinner at, tonight. At what but, point do you become a common pimp in that discussion? No, he's a corporate <laughs> pimp. fine line. Yeah, corporate pimp is <laughs> way better. Super fine line. <laughs> Is it 10%? Is it 40%? Or is it like 60% in that area? Goddamn deplorables. <laughs> yeah, right? Baskets of deplorables. Or... I think it has something Finders to do with the... Women. I think it has something to do with the cash to goods ratio. Like, uh, you know. Do you remember when binders full of women were was like our most... That was our biggest problem. And now it's like grab them in the pussy. Was that uh, Charlie Sheen? It was Romney. No, it was Romney. Oh, Romney said that. It was Romney. That's a sad thing where you could confuse Romney and uh, (laughs) Charlie Sheen. Thank you. Binders full of women. Binders full of women. I vaguely remember the reference, but I don't Are we going to forget grab grab them by the pussy? Is that That how desensitized we've become, or will we always remember that? Oh, four years from now? We're not going to remember grab them by the pussy. Who's the goddamn idiot that let this leak on a Friday at 7 o'clock in the evening? Why didn't you do this Monday it morning? Yesterday. Like the face, right? But I like, I know, but like, why not leak it when like the whole Facebook news cycle happens on Monday? I yeah, yeah. you're right. No, thing. you're How right. Where do we yeah, go from here? That's brilliant, though, right? Like, hold on. Where do we go from here? It's gonna be on my tomb. We have, like on the show or like as a country or as, like, as a country. Both. We, <laughs> we have Colin a reality. A, a little both. <laughs> we have generally accepted a bad choice for president in Hillary Clinton, and then we have. A bad choice in anything. Being a human being. As a, yeah. Who in again? Do- half of the country. Trump. I can tell you exactly where we go with this. Not to turn political. Paul Ryan. That's sad. I, he will be in the. He will be the 2020 Republican nominee. I so heard. I'm staking a claim on that right now. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I heard a celebrity addict talk years ago. Corey Feldman. No. Was it Corey Feldman? I'd vote for Corey Feldman over our current selection. <laughs> my, ins- my instinct Frog is, Brothers my instinct 2016. Is, my instinct is Doug Benson, but I could be wrong. Um, if Doug Benson died in a fire, I'd be happy. Wow. Wow. Why the hate for Doug Benson? Because he's not funny. Did he hurt you? Who hurt you, Mike? He's kind of funny. <laughs> he's not funny. He's he's, he's encroaching he's encroaching on your territory. That's the problem. What? I am insulted by that. There's a lot of overlap between Doug Benson and Mikey. 
Their bench just that smokes is. a lot of yeah. weed. We're not friends yeah. anymore. His thing is to say. Oh no 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 no! Not Doug Benson. Doug Stanhope. Doug Stanhope. Ah, Thank you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. My bad. My okay. bad. I, feel like you I love yeah. Doug Stanhope. Um, well, I'm okay sure with Doug Stanhope. Is, to be Doug Stanhope is, is who I was talking about. He's pretty right now. much the most offensive comedian you'll ever hear. Doug Benson is is a cheap. He's like fine. He's a he's wannabe. Doing, he's, he's the he's doing his No, thing. I know I don't Doug really, Benson. He's is. got a thing. He Doug Benson is a wannabe Tommy Chong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy that. But he made he's a stand-up talking. career out of it. Like, well, so did I mean, that's fine. Tommy Chong, basically, uh, cheap, to a certain man. degree. I mean, they made they they did that duo stuff, but it was all original. Tom, uh, Doug Benson just goes like, "Holy shit, I ate a bunch of Cheetos!" Like, that's the basis of your fucking stand up. We have cocks and there are Cheetos on the floor. <laughs> oh, where do we go from here as America? I think it was Down Doug Stanhope says the only way to get a Addict to cure himself is to let him hit rock bottom. That is where we go as America. I mean, that's not just Doug. That's not just Doug. Benson no, it's not. That's, but that that's is why I heard that's... it, and I was like, "Yep, that makes sense." And I trust so Trump his opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Trump, yeah. So Trump wins. We I think Trump. Doug Stanhope has hit rock we bottom have a multiple goddamn times. Armed Nuclear war. The bottom falls out of the economy. South China becomes away. the dominant economic force China. in the world. China. And we no. start again. <laughs> That's where we go as America. So wow. you're 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 this like you're in We're like done. the Tyler Durden camp. You're like I. I, I shouldn't have had kids. It was a bad call. <laughs> Good luck. I've, 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 I don't mean I've, to laugh at that. I I've see where you're going born, with that. I've still like... born them into a cesspool. They. I don't think it's that bad. A sinking ship. I don't think it's that bad. Like it legit. Off. Like okay. So look at this. Like no. Okay. Like legit. We're fucked. No. What can you accomplish in four years, honestly, in terms of politics? Dick. I'm, I'm being completely oh, honest. Oh, no. It has nothing Dick. to do no, with... It, it totally it has does. nothing to do with what he's actually going to do. It's going. It has to do with what half of America thinks we're going to fucking do. Okay. And, and, frankly, what the other half of America thinks we're going to do. Sure. We're all fucking idiots at this point. We all believe the sky is falling. We all believe no. the bottom has fallen out of the economy. We all surf the web on fucking $800 iPhones all day, every goddamn day. Our nation is stronger and safer and more whoa, secure than whoa. it's ever been in our Keep entire going. lives. Keep Hashtag going. real. Yourself. Hashtag Keep real. Dropping truth yeah. knowledge. Our nation Hashtag is truth stronger, bomb. Stronger, safer, and more economically stronger than it ever has been. But all we listen to is people on the news and the fucking computer and our goddamn Facebook feeds who tell us the goddamn world is coming and to an assholes end. Assholes like us in a room talking on the internet. We to fucking I, read things. I agree with We're you. doomed. We're idiots. We're doomed. And we deserve what we get. So for the first Sorry. like. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that's the most the, real hold on, shit right. Tristan hold on, has on, ever on, said. Like a mic drop? That's the, the first most real shit Tristan has ever said. The first acceptable uh, segue ever. <laughs> Yikes. I'm supposed to go to Charleston. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's a hurricane. On Sunday. It gonna rain. You can't go there. It gonna rain. <laughs> it's <laughs> raining sideways. It gonna rain. <laughs> but I'm supposed to go to that's Charleston. That, that's the whole reason we're recording right now. Is that I might not return, and then at least we have. <laughs> you might not make it down record. there. Like we at least have two episodes recorded, and well, that's Sunday, all I think good. The store's supposed to be passed by then. Yeah, supposedly. I just don't trust the opinion. It's gonna of, be a lot of rain. You're gonna be driving through a lot. Did of you rain. actually see like the? Plot it's gonna though, rain. Like, that hurricane apparently might. Go back, yeah, it's gonna like, be, like it's around gonna be and come back around. Right like, awesome. Is that a thing that happens? It's like Apparently. fuck you, Florida. Yeah, it, like, fuck you again. Because hurricanes gather energy over water and lose it over land. Yeah. And and they kind of they curve one way or another depending on what they're doing. So what they think is going to happen is it's going to curve into the land and then go back over to the water and gain strength and actually curve back around. Now I haven't seen I haven't seen a scenario where it actually hits land again. Right. But it's definitely oh, it's headed that's like that the most no that's a cock diesel hurricane. It comes around 180 degrees. Like it saw Mikey Tyler standing in like Virginia and it was like <laughs> no fuck <laughs> no, that noise. Fuck that. You're not going to Charleston. No, but there's another tropical storm they were saying today that it, it if it goes out it might actually like combine with, and that's oh, what's gonna yes. like Jesus do this Isn't that weirdness like a movie where it's with, like um, Mickey or something. What's the what's this so one? What's this that one? It's something like that. The perfect uh, storm. Matthew, so Matthew. The next one's Nicole it's, it's or something like she that. Sounds very attractive. What is it? Fruit. Well, I mean, <laughs> no. Sometimes I don't know. You well, just heard a girl's name. You're yeah, like, no, that really brought it down. Like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm in a room full of dudes. There's a chick's name. Yeah, Nicole. 
He's like, hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, girl. I see you. Trying to All right, out. gathering We've, we've here. got, what, like 15 minutes left? Maybe 10? No, there's oh, less no, than that. I think it's like five minutes. We're under five. What? Under three. Maybe. What other topics that do you last have? Little, that last little bit goes quickly. Oh, what other there, topics do you have? We can just stare at the same stream. stare minutes. at this. Yeah. I mean, this is what we can mm-hmm. do. It's really exciting. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> really? I see you. Nicole. Does the camera pick up the sand? I it Nicole. probably doesn't. I see you, Nicole. Probably not, but it's very clear. Do they even see that there's a like time device there? I'll see you, baby. Shaking that ass. It's hard to say. Hold it's it up right to the there. camera. Be like, we've got this sweet there's Jafar the Jake Gyllenhaal sands. Left. It's literally, it's got to be under a minute. Oh, yeah, no, there's no time left. I mean, but we can discuss I, anything dude, we want. This thing is just like going. There's no rules. Just right. Just, yeah, just keep going. Outback quick, Steakhouse. We're the now. Outback right, Steakhouse so of podcasts. Anything? So, the last thing that I had on my list, for the most part, is... Um, <clears throat> Oculus Rift, one of three big VR companies out we there in the world right now. finally made it back to video games. They are the one. Uh, Oculus Rift is the one who was bought by Facebook, I believe. Yep. Uh, they announced their touch controllers it's gonna yesterday. Be, it's going to be a fad. Uh, apparently, uh, so they're going to turn it into the Vive. Yes, pretty much. that's exactly right. Except their controller is going to be $200, which people are upset about. Jesus Christ. I don't Christ. blame them. Because uh, isn't it like 400 for yeah. the Oculus? Yep, like 400 that. for the Oculus, Something 200 like for the controllers. Let's not talk about the computer that can run it, actually. And then apparently if you want a whole room, you need another pair of $80 sensors and to, to yeah. put up. It's, VR is not going to work, I don't think. I think it's going to be like 3D television. It's like a, it's like a cool concept, what? but I don't think enough people want to invest the money. and like oh, I, people, I don't think people want a closed-off experience. We're, gen- Consider- we're a generation away. I, I, yes. I, I agree with yes. that. Yes. Or not necessarily a whole generation. Maybe We're probably a generation 10 years. Two. Yeah, yeah. Consider if, the barrier of entry uh, is $500 for the full setup, okay? We won't consider a, a gaming PC, whatever. Sure. The barrier to entry is $500. Like my monster that won't connect my Xbox One controllers to yeah. it? Yeah. I'm not going to get in between you and... <laughs> and your monster. Your monster <laughs> and the person who helped you build the monster. I'm going to throw that out the window. <clears throat> anyway. Barrier to entry is $500 plus the games at normal video game price, right? Like 60 bucks. What's the game? What's the concept? What's the commercial that makes you invest that money? GTA. If I yeah. got G- if I got GTA in VR, because already the first person. What do you want? Experience... You want? So you want to feed from the eyes of the person in GTA? Yeah. Have yeah. You, have you played a first person view in GTA? I haven't actually. It's gotta be it's gotta be a triple A title, and that's the way they'll it's, they'll bank it's it. It's disorienting, but it's it's amazing. It like if everyone had to play like that, it'd be great. But the problem is you have to mix. It would have to be so, like a first person shooter. Yeah, it would have to be I, like a Halo. I'm, yeah, or I was gonna a say Gears of War. I'm well, Gears of War is he, third person, but it would have so, to be like so, a. So the consensus it would have to be that good. A triple A title that makes you feel like you're actually VR. really there. Or or here's the thing: it's got to be one of those ones that sneaks. It's got to be if it's not a triple A title, it's got to be developed by an independent studio and it sneaks kind of under the radar. You know what I mean, and blows up, and kind, of, and that's usually the way those things work. Because honestly, so let's hypothetically we'll talk about Halo Six. I bought my Xbox One for Halo Five. I hated Halo Five, but if all of a sudden they were like, "Hey, Halo Six, gonna be on whatever Microsoft's new you know, virtual reality, etc., cetera, etc.," cetera, I would probably buy into it, depending upon the price point. I'm getting to a point here though. Here's my thing. It's always those... It's always... The AAA games are going to bring in the the early adopters and the main adopters. I still think but it's, it's too always, weird to be sitting in a room with, like, goggles on and, like, moving but around. Have, I think people have, have a disconnect. Used, have you used VR? I haven't. No, I, I bet it's, it's it's probably pretty tight, pretty but cool. I think a lot of people have a disconnect with that. Like, I just think a lot of people don't want to put on this enclosing headset it's kind of unnerving but it's yeah. amazing yeah it's i mean I, wild. I would give it a, a, a shot just to like see what it is like we'll have it here eventually because but, but, i, I want to get that because it's cool i mean i don't know like i said i feel like it's more but of a fad than i an think actual... again i think what will happen is that it will it will be those smaller studios that that have some product some game that ultimately blows up that scene i don't want to it will be more of a first-person experience, clearly, 
there will be one app that basically sells it. Yeah, like Halo for the Xbox or or, or something. Somebody yeah. one, of, one of the platforms will hinge the success of a title on it. You got to play it, you got to try it. Yeah, oh, I get that. You know, imagine like Skyrim on something like that where you've got to pick the locks. Not with the thing where you actually have to like do. I don't. I it's don't know. It's the movement no, for me cool. that breaks the experience. All of the cool yeah. VR yeah. experiences I've seen are somebody standing still and doing something around them. Right. That's why GTA doesn't work for me. That's why Halo doesn't work for me. I can see standing in a room and and moving a virtual gun around and shooting people, but that is fun for a very limited amount of time. And the moving on rails thing doesn't seem to work very well. Like See, it certainly has it on have consoles. You, have you seen the things where it's it's sort of it's almost like a rail shooter, but it's like you're in one spot and there are like zombies or whatever coming at you, and you have to turn like around. Like a horde and, mode, kind of. Yeah, that shit's fucking nuts. That sounds like fun to me. I could buy I'm, that. I'm on, but yeah, I'm. You on know what I could that. also buy is like we're on um, a Jafar zombie. Real We're quick, I could, I could buy. Um, do you remember? I could buy Mist. I could, I could buy. You have a. a Dude, a no, that small, game was awesome. A small area <laughs> where, yes, you are kind of on rails. You have, you know, um, puzzles to solve, and the only way to solve them is by looking around. You are definitely showing your age now. You're yeah, You're manipulating. Totally. Dude, totally. Because puzzles. Mist, it was like. If you so, it, that would be the greatest. I will be example. forty next year, Michael. If, is that is that what we're going you, after? <laughs> that enjoy mist your, is en, the greatest enjoy your example. Last year on the last call podcast. Enjoy my decrepitude. <laughs> no longer allowed. All right. Mist is the greatest example of if you showed that to someone from the younger generation, they'd be like, like yeah. "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> they would like be upset about it. I think it, <laughs> honestly, I think if you like, if you like, what there were like the graphics, eight, there were like eight pictures. But they were this. like tough as shit, dude. Like, it was like, oh, no, the game was, itself was, was game. amazing, it was, but yeah. it was like, you think about it, it's like these were just, it was like but fifteen that's what I'm high res photos. It'll, it'll Still, take that made a whole game. And that's what I'm saying though, like it'll, it'll take something Graphics high tech for that take, age, bro. It, they were. Dude. <laughs> I worked at a laboratory, and we used to, anyway. We. It'll take something like that to break through the VR barrier. Here's what I think. What I think is going to bring break back through the, the VR actuator. Barrier. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm on board with yeah. that. Like a VR <laughs> fighting game. No, I think it's going to be a combination of social media and the type of manipulation that Tom Cruise does in Minority Report. I think if you can sit the average 13 year old kid down. And you put all of the internet, YouTube, and his Snapchat, and his Facebook, and all that kind of shit, and you let him manipulate it in the air in a oh, virtual it's environment. That's fucking interesting. It's not even games. Design. It's just. Oh look, what? my buddy, my buddy posted a video. Let's pull that down and widen it out. Oh, that's kind of interesting. But you know what? I'm gonna put it over here and let it play while I continue to scroll my Twitter feed. Yeah, no. That's, that's what's gonna sell me. I'm pretty and sure that all exists. It does. That it does. It does not. It does actually. It's not like I can, not high. like that. I can I can tell you it actually does exist. Uh, at the NAB conference a couple of years ago, I want to say four or five conference. NAB is National Academy of Broadcasters, National Association of Broadcasters. There was actually a video editing system introduced like that. You could take video it, editing. Not, yes, I believe yes. that. Yeah. yeah. This is my point, though. But not mainstream. Like no. thirteen-year-old can buy this, this for four hundred dollars for Christmas. What That's I'm imagining point, is the thirteen-year-old comes home from school at the end of the day, and he sits down and he enters and his I get that. environment, and he starts manipulating all of his. And I get that, but to Mikey's point, that technology does exist. Two, this was introduced again in the, in the video editing kind of realm five or six years ago. It didn't take off. Okay. It didn't take off. So I don't think that that level of... It's because it sucks. Yeah, yeah no, you're yet, right. But here's my thing. Yet. Like You need ha- to grab it right by the yeah. pussy. <laughs> grab it by the pussy. What happens... <laughs> but this is what happened 20 years ago with VR and 3D and stuff. Nobody bought into it. Now it's a it's little bit better. because it sucked. The technologies will become more refined over the decades. Yeah, Eventually, Mikey's right. You'll get we need one point. more generation of... of I'd, I'd say... Probably within five, definitely within ten years, you're gonna have some serious VR gaming. 
Yeah. I I would. Yeah. The, I think that's that's out, a nice simple a breakdown good, yeah. of it. Probably within five. Definitely, definitely within, within ten. 10. And, did, you guys, and, did you guys read? Uh, I'm sure you did. Ready Player One. I still haven't. I can't read or write. I mean, it's it's fun. <laughs> it's I. it's fun. You know, yeah. it's not great. So are we are we recording our th- third podcast for the night? <laughs> No, we can no, yeah, this will just be a bonus. This will just be a plus. Leave. All right, final final point for the Jafar sand, and then we'll uh, go. No, so I have to, I actually have to be up pretty early tomorrow. So. We can leave. We can go. We should... All right. Take us out. Finish. Finish. Fuck her right in the pussy. Yeah. Yeah. One, one, right one last topic. Quick answers. What are we doing? What? <laughs> oh, it's, am I supposed to have a new topic? No, just off the top of your no head. What are we doing? Unless there's anything we quick and important we can come there's up nothing with. Important. If you had to survive uh, an apocalypse, what kind of apocalypse would it be? Dude, You're going to be the, one of 1% one of survivors that, that survives this apocalypse. What's it going to be? I'm just going to say the zombie apo- apocalypse would be incredibly easy to survive. No, that'd be fucking terrible. What are you fucking nuts? That's awful. No, he's right. He's um, zombies. You get yourself a lawnmower blade. You're good. You head north. Mm-hmm. How unless you, how you're, many do you think you kill? If you had a lawnmower blade in your hand. Have you read World like War Z? Like yeah, I have. Okay. If you had a lawnmower blade. Lawnmower how, blade. Answer, and you head the, north. answer the goddamn question. <laughs> if you had a lawnmower blade in your hands, how many zombies do you think you could kill? So many. In a row. Answer, All answer, of answer them. The question. So what many. A number. Four. Say honest, a number. So many. Four. Say a number. I would go as 40? high as 16. I would go as high as 16. How many, how many people are there? Like, like 300, 300 million like, in the United States. Million people. <laughs> but think, think about 16? it. 40? All right, let's Stop. let's say no more people are really being born. Let's say you're killing 100 people. Yeah, but none people. of them are dying either. Yeah, they keep coming back. It doesn't matter. No, but let's say you're killing 100 zombies a day. That's <laughs> that's my problem with... This is, this is, your math is about to go south here. What, yeah. No, what, what you're what 300 you million uh, I'm not sure if country. you understand how, how oceans days, work. How many days... Okay, so there's 380 million people in the United States <laughs> right. of America. Are they all going to... Con- and you kill 100 zombies a day. Are they all going to converge on your spot at one point? It's 10,000. I guess it depends Probably on the rules. Not. Let's let's talk about that of sadness topic. point of America where there's you like you live within <laughs> uh, forty miles of two million people right now. Okay, but it's not like yeah, because DC him. and Baltimore. Yeah, but let's say let's, there let's, there are like, let's let's take there's let's, a hun- a hundred of me <laughs> just just murdering a hundred or so zombies a day. Like zombie oh. apocalypse doesn't work out. Holy shit! I, assuming I, you're so talking, you killed ten thousand zombies a day. I haven't even sure. thought about sampling and statistics in like fucking sixteen years. Like seriously, like <laughs> let's think about this. Like you guys are the ones who are telling me surviving a zombie apocalypse is easy. I'm just. I'm saying not saying it's easy. I'm just saying like you nonsense, fucking right? grab like a uh, lawnmower blade or <laughs> any apocalypse and, and you would be fucking difficult. head north. I mean, why north? The, because, because like the harder part of a, I feel like with a lawnmower, drop, and I could kill 20 drop, zombies tops like, before I am smoked. Yeah, you're Mikey, tired. You get exhausted. He could kill 50. Amazing? Could maybe kill 100. Yeah, maybe 100. No, but what I'm saying just, is like... But not at once. That's... You You kill... They're not thinking... <laughs> It depends. It depends on the rules you they're, go by. They're hungry for flesh. They always to. find yeah, you. If you're talking like those ones that are like running after you, are we talking you, like? Uh, are, we ta- yeah, yeah, are we talking ten- rage zombies? I, are we talking no, walking I dead I'm zombies? No, I'm talking like uh, dead zombies. Seriously, like, I think movie. I'm talking. There's so many zombies. I'm talking I'm Walking, walking Dead. Remake Dawn of the Dead Zombies. And, I'm talking and, like oh, Walking oh, Dead. Then you're on different pages. Then yeah. The one, oh, walking the one where they fucking sprint. All right, I'm saying, walking yeah, I'm walking saying, Walking tough, Dead. Because yeah, they, they mass, you know. Walking Dead should have run out of zombies by now. That Will Smith movie. What? Why? No, why would you say that? No. There's because no, if you, there's 380 say, million people in, in, in no, America, Walking Dead's not going to run out of zombies. No, but you, seriously, think about it. How many like camps have they run into? You should have like run into people and like let's say you're in a, an enclosed area and they're walking up and you're just killing a few hundred a day, just stabbing them through a fence. Yeah, but nobody's killing a few hundred a day because it's so dangerous, dude. Three hundred eighty. No. Or you million. run out of bullets. That mean that'd be that'd no. Be the I'm talking about like, bullets, that's what they run into in World War Z. 
But 380 million is much a lot more than you think. No, but a lot of here's the thing you don't consider is like, let's say you have this one camp. There's at least a few other camps that are also killing hundreds and hundreds of zombies a day. I guess it should... depends on it depends on your survival rate. I'd be more worried yeah. about rape. I would end it right well, there. Uh, <laughs> wow, we opened a whole different... I would be worried about rape. Well, see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us. So for... tempted to call the episode that. <laughs> so I'm more worried about so rape. I'm more, I'm more worried, worried about, about rape. rape. All right, well, we're never going to come to a conclusion on this. We've run out of Jafar sand. Let's Peace. call, let's call it for that. Easy. I don't know why I thought it would be easy. Nope, not but, easy. Thank you all for joining us for uh, multiple episodes of the Last Call Podcast. My name is Mikey T. Tristan. Ah! I'm Adam. <laughs> the giant bird, Adam. Caleb, grab my the pussy. And and Caleb from the original Last Call. Thank you all for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Seriously, you could just go up and grab my the pussy. <laughs> <laughs>